Congratulations on deciding to create your own online course. You know, people have created online courses in all sorts of niches and topics from business to personal development to hobbies to finance and, and everything in between. Did you know that the e-learning industry, the reported revenue has been growing year upon year and now is over $250 billion per year. What a huge opportunity is that? But not even that. They reckon that by 2025, it's expected to rise to $325 billion per year. Meaning, you've got a huge opportunity to monetize your knowledge and your content by delivering online courses. You simply just need the right tools and strategies to turn your knowledge into a profitable business. Now, the beauty with online courses is that you can use various modalities of delivery, whether that is text, video, audio, or other graphical media. And the aim, of course, of the online training is that your student should be walking away with new knowledge and skills that they didn't have before they did your training. Universities, colleges, schools, businesses, many people and industries are actually taking on and embracing online learning tools. Now, whilst it might take some time in the front end to create your online course, this product really becomes a source of passive income for you because there's very often very little further input that you need to do once the course has been created. You might make some updates on your content from time to time, but you don't have to recreate the training each time. And you can still continue to keep on selling it to as many people that are interested in it over and over again and all over the world. Now, of course, there's various platforms and things that you know, can give you a way to generate this uh, revenue from your knowledge and to engage potential learners. And really, that's what we're going to be looking at as we go through this training. In module one, we're going to look at deciding what is your course topic. Now, this might include things that you're passionate about, something that really solves an urgent need for your potential client, and something in alignment with your business brand, if you're doing something in relationship to your business. And with these modules as well, you'll notice that there's going to be uh, certain exercises that you can do that if you complete the exercises, essentially, it's taking you right through the design and implementation creation of your online course. Module two is about who's your target audience. So we're going to create a client avatar. You know, what is your potential client saying? Who is your potential client? Who is it that you want to target? Module three is about choosing your course type. So are you doing something that's a process, is it a speciality, is it knowledge-based, are you looking at specific tasks, is it a discipline, is it how to attain a certain goal, a method, etc. So we'll look at that at Module 3. In Module 4, you're going to choose your course delivery platform. So we're going to look at what might be some of the things that you'll need, how to choose the best online course delivery system for you, choosing the right tools and the resources that might be applicable. So there's a worksheet to assist you with that. Module five is about creating your course content. So module six is about course creation. Here we're going to look at landing pages. So we'll look at click funnels as an example, how to create landing pages, what should they look like, what should they do. We'll look at uh, over the shoulder, I'll show you how to do screen recording, how you might edit your video, what systems you might have in place for that. Module 7 is about finding your pricing and your positioning sweet spot. So find your pricing a sweet spot, find a foolproof pricing and positioning that works for you, increasing your value without increasing your workload, which of course is hugely important. Secrets to creating and growing an active community. And there's an exercise there about setting your price and, and how to find out what is actually the right price for you and for your product. Module 8, we're going to look at the pre-launch. How do you go about pre-launching your, your new online course? Some of the follow-up that you might do and keeping your clients engaged. Creating incentives that can grow your list. Writing client-attracting emails. There's an email writing exercise 
we'll look at some powerful pre-launch and sales strategies, some customer service do's and don'ts, and of course, how actually you might also be able to grow your income with and upsell your course with possibly mastermind groups and other live events and courses. And then we're going to do a recap. We're going to put it all together again for you as we finish and draw to a close within the training, leaving you empowered with the knowledge to go ahead and actually create your own training. Now, one of the things I really like to do within my courses is to use quotes. And, you know, very often when people decide on creating something new, and especially, you know, something that, you know, maybe they've got no experience in, Sometimes people have this idea or this fear of failure. And Dennis Waitley said, you know, failure should be our teacher, not our undertaker. Failure is delay, not defeat. It's simply a temporary detour, not a dead end. So failure is something we can avoid only by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. And of course, if we do nothing, we say nothing, and we be nothing, well, then we're not growing. So don't look at any mistakes or any setbacks as failure. Simply see them as learning opportunity as you grow in your ability to create online courses. And in fact, everything else that you do in your life as well. Failure is only feedback. It's not defeat. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into module number one. Please know there's also a manual that you can download so that you can follow along. And you know, feel free to take any notes that you want. Of course, it's your manual. So I look forward to seeing you in Module 1 next.